back on the van build. And today we're gonna get our 12 volt electrics up and running. I really wanna get some lights on in here. Don't you just love Amazon Prime because stuff has arrived. XT60 connectors. And then we can plug them in and test them. We have the first lights in our van. We've got lights, yes! Except that one. Really feel like there's some, been some big highs and lows of the build. You know, some really big stresses. There still are things to sort out that are stressful, but it's really becoming enjoyable now. Like all these bits are kind of fun that it, it feels like it's a camp van. Oh, as you can tell, it has snowed here in the Peak District. 12 volt Victron system is up and running. The MultiPlus is working. I've already got one fuse board at the back of the van. That's pretty much wired up with things in the back. So the water tank, the diesel heater, the pump. Today, what I wanna do is shut that because we keep, keep the heat in. Today, what I wanna do is get the second fuse board up and running and i've made a start on it kitchen worktops are now in which means i could fit my electrical cupboard where i'm up to is i have built a second mini electrical cupboard which is going to house the second 12 volt fuse board there and then all of my screens control panel for the victron control panel for the diesel heater and the bobel system all of those screens plus a few plug sockets 240 and 12 volt so all of that will be on the front face of that the next step is to wire in the 12 volt fuse board to the mains the cables are run this is another job just sorting out all these cables i really want to get some lights on in here because it's dark it's winter and i need light to work and at the moment it's pretty tricky the aim for this get that cupboard sorted get lights on i'm matt and this is sky together with Ginny and little man we are going to build the ultimate adventure van and travel the world if you're new to the channel why not subscribe and join us on this epic new adventure this is a book life i've just screwed the 12 volt fuse board on we'll just whip that off negative to the top positive to the bottom my cables are already run so it's just a case of sticking a lug on the end trimming it down 16 millimeter cable running from the smart battery protect and the links positive and negative correct size lugs crimping tool heat gun and heat shrink let's get it done done both of those positive negative are now in now we can start wiring stuff up to it first thing that can go in there is the fridge first one's in fridge is wired up and the first fuse going in 15 amp use my little sticker printer to label up my fuse board again can't wire anything else into the fuse board until I have got the front door on because all these things need to attach to it, including the light switches, which is my goal. So I'm gonna cut the piece of wood for that. Wood cut, let's see if it fits and start laying the components onto it. Okay, here's the plan. Plug socket, USBs, and switches going there, Bobel, Victron, auto turn, door hinge, door hinge. Okay, that's the sockets on and aligned, although the middle one doesn't quite want to play ball. Next, I'm going to mark out for my bobel. Oh, all right, moment of truth. Does it fit? Here we go. Oh, it's, ah, oh, look at that. Right, happy with that. So that is going to be like that. Next up, the Victron bad boy. 
bobbles on. Next is the Victron system, which is going there. And then finally, I've had to turn my heater off, even though it's freezing, the auto turn, which is going there. I've just cut these little notches out for the power cables to come through. There we go, all in, let's get in the van. Oh, I'm pretty pleased with that. Now I need to just drill these holes and that's good to go in. So sockets, switch and USB, and then switch. And we did have a dimmer. However, me and Jins have just been chatting and we decided instead of having one dimmer, we're gonna split two of the lighting circuits into two separate ones and just have those on a normal switch. And boom, it's in. Victron system, bobble, and there's the auto term. Still need some hinges as I've not got any yet. Don't you just love it when things arrive before they should? Hinges are here so I can get those on the door. Fitting these hinges was super tricky with the door all wired up, but we managed to get them on and get them in. Yes. Here we go. Hinges on. And that's it. Just need like a push pop mechanism. I'm gonna wire in the 230 plugs next. I've got what is called a radial. So my loop, this goes back to the inverter. This loops into a second socket. And then from there we go to the socket at the front. To wire those up, I've got two going into one. And this 2.5 mil Arctic Blue is really thick and hard to handle. What I've got is these two into one ferrules, so I can get two cables, those two in there like that, and then crimp it up, and then that goes into the socket. They make it so much easier. I was, I was struggling at the back. So I've just got my two earths together, my two lives, and my two neutrals. Neutrals are blue, earths are yellow and green, with, and they have a they all have labeled, they're all labeled, so it's pretty easy. And then live is brown, and the earth either has an E or that little logo, I don't know if you can see it. So then that just passes into the next one, and we're golden. Next, I'm gonna do this USB socket, so that's just straightforward. Gonna use 2.5 mil cable, and these heat shrink connectors. I really rate these. They make a nice tidy job of it. That's another one labeled up. I actually changed this. I put 1.5 mil cable in instead because I couldn't get it into those ports and actually I didn't need a 2.5. Does it work? That is the question. Yes. Another one ticked off the list. Just had to order some extra parts to wire in the lights because we decided that I need lights, but I, I don't want to do the roof yet. Now the diesel heat is humming away in the background. I have bought myself a carbon monoxide alarm. Ginny was joking that she didn't want to come in after a couple of days of not seeing me to find me KO'd on the floor because of carbon monoxide poisoning. So I bought one of these. Helpful Facebook group yesterday. Apparently you need a type two one that can be used in motion, which this is, I'll put a link to it. Well, I'm gonna mount this properly at some point, but until then I'm just gonna stick it in here, out the way in the cab. So, lighting circuit, 2.5 millimeter cable because of voltage drop. Ginny tells me I need to use that. She's worked out all the specifics, so I'm just going on her information. So, I'm gonna loop that from, I've labeled it, that's as far as I've got. I'm gonna loop that from here to my switch, and then it's gonna shoot off out here, out there. I've got a mixture of 2.5 twin core and 1.5 twin core depending on what I'm running. I've also got some wire strippers, my indestructible scissors that cut everything, uh, some crimpers, some bootlace ferrule ferrule crimpers, handy screwdriver, my heat gun for the heat shrink connectors, and that's about it, tools wise for this. 2.5 mil cable to 12 volt fuse board. I'm just using these wirely heat shrink connectors. They just go on there, crimp. Oh, crimp the wrong bit. 
crimp can even use my 230 power, although I need to turn the power off in a second. And then on the other end, I need a bootlace connector. Oh, not boot, not bootlace crimp on that one actually, because positive is going to my switch, negative is continuing the circuit. So that's just going into one of these heat shrink butt connectors. I'm just going to run this cable. It's going to go up through here and then into the bedroom. I actually think we're going to need some more 2.5 mil cable. In fact, we're definitely going to need some more 2.5 mil cable. Do you know what? Respect to van builders that do this for a living. Putting a van together, I know it probably be, gets easier with, with experience, but there's a lot that goes into a van build. A massive amount. Positive running through the switch. Negative just linked back together. I need to put a bit of conduit onto this cable. What I did last night was that cable is now wired up into the back of the light switches there. Runs through the back, up here, along here, and then out of that hole there. And what I did was drill, use my step drill just to drill a few holes so I can pass the cables through. Don't you just love Amazon Prime because stuff has arrived to continue. So ordered last night some of these XT60 connectors. They're like bullet connectors. I think they use them on RC cars and things like that. They're 12 volt anyway. And they connect, they connect together like that. Thank you to Bruce. He has become my go-to electrical fountain of knowledge. So big thank you to him. A very good camper van electrical expert. The plan is LED light, XT60 male connector. I'm gonna solder those two onto there, a little bit of heat shrink on it. That way I can detach these and I've got the female XT60. Here's one I made earlier going to some heat shrink butt connectors. And then that will have two cables coming in, basically allows it to link all the circuits together. So I'm gonna solder that on, and then I'll show you how I'm assembling it. I'm gonna strip a little bit more of those off. Heat shrink on. I'm not gonna lie, I've forgotten this step a few times and had to undo my soldering. Homemade soldering holder, just because I needed one yesterday. Positive XT60, that way up. That goes in there. Running off the van's power right now, which is handy. It's handy having power in here. Fire that in there, count to three, get it all nice and warm, and there we go. One soldered on, there you go. What do you think? And then you slide your heat shrink over that. I haven't found a better way of heating this heat shrink up other than with a lighter at the moment. Find the air, the hot air gun too, too much. I don't want it to singe up though. They then just slot into that. That gets wired into my loop. I can bring, I'm bringing two negatives into this, which is why I've gone with the bigger butt connect. Out the 12 volt cupboard, up through here, out here, into that. And then you see I've got two blacks going in. So one goes to the light and the other one goes to the next light. Same again on that one. That then runs through to there. And then I just need to finish those two off. Yes, right. That is all connected and heat shrinked up. Just need to clip these wires up with some foil tape and then we can plug them in and test them. And will we have the first light in our van? Let's stick a fuse in the fuse board. 10 amp is what I'm going for. That's, that's what the boss said to go with. 10 amp going in. We've got lights, yes. Except that one's not working. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, look, these, these. I like touch 
touch LEDs. Anyway, you can turn them all off in, on and off independently, which is pretty snazzy. Goodbye, G-Bobs. Yes! Look, the first warm glow of light in the van. Now I've just got the kitchen, the bathroom, and the living room. Oh, right shot with that. That feels like such a monumental stage to have. We've now got light and heat in the van. If I get a mattress, basically I can go and do some cheeky little camps away. Very chuffed with that. Very chuffed. Oh, don't know whether it's cool the video there or crack on. I'm going to crack on and see how much more I can get done. It'd be cool if I could get most of this lit light. Um, wired up today although i think i do need some more of those xt60s because i only bought one pack thinking like i'll just test it to start with right i'm going to do the bathroom light bathroom light's easy it's not got all this it's just one light really feel like there's some been some big highs and lows of the build you know some really big stresses there still are things to sort out that are stressful but it's really becoming enjoyable now like all these bits are kind of fun that it, it feels like it's a camp van. It feels like it's getting, you know, we're getting to the end of the project. And we got to check light switch. Yes. Bathroom light is wired in. Just one in there. Bedroom, bathroom, get in there. Next circuit is the Max Air Fan. And I need to link that to the Mini Max Air Fan, I've gone with a 5 amp fuse as per instructions. On. All right, that's one. Let's have a look and see if we have power in the bathroom. Yes. Oh, it's powerful, that. That's more powerful than I thought it was going to be. And hopefully. Yeah! Just in the middle of wiring up the sitting room lights and, or the lounge, what do you call it, the cab? I don't know. We've got these again running on clip, clips again, XT60s, so that I can detach them. But I have also installed some mood lights. Check it. Yeah! Oh, I've put these on XT60 clips as well so that I can remove them as and when we get those installed. They're going to be going underneath our storage boxes. Just done that exactly the same with the XT60 connectors. Bedroom and kitchen. Yeah. Just got finished wiring these up, which is my next job. And that is all of our 12 volt wiring done. Injury again, ow. These bloody, these bloody clippers, wire strippers, like you, you grip them and inside there is a crimper. I keep taking chunks out of that thumb. That thumb is just getting abused at the moment. Anyway, less moaning. They just clip in like that. Take those wires up to the ceiling. Just using some foil tape. The last plug in. Let's test the circuit. Here we go. Yeah, that's awesome. Can't believe we have got lights now. So we have got bedroom lights, bedroom mood lights, kitchen mood lights, lounge and kitchen lights, and bathroom lights. All the lights are wired up, all the fans are wired up. I think that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate the support. Very soon we are heading to the Arctic after Christmas, so make sure you subscribe and join us on that adventure. Click here if you want to see how I wired up the Max Air Fan, and click here if you want to see our latest video. Thank you.